Well, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, video I wanted to do today just to chip it out there is uh, just trying to uh, make the single people to understand some fact about how to find, how to find, how to actually attract uh, a man to yourself. A lot of people have been asking questions, of, Pastor, how do I get, how do I get, how do I find? Uh, I'm going to just let you know that there's these three ways to finding uh, the, the best one uh, to go for. Uh, the number one I'm going to you know, share is seduction. Um, a lot of women believe that okay when I show cleavage and I so show my backside and everything I'm gonna get the attention of a man you are hundred percent right you're not wrong at all but the kind of a man that you will get is gonna be a wrong kind of guy because the guy will see you as if to say you are demanding for sex and this one is sex staffed and he's showing me all what she's got and she wanted me to come and give it to her and then he would do likewise now the second one is that uh, uh, I found you, you find me. Like probably we'll meet at the church or probably in a party and all those stuff. And I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. It's a very good one. And I end up coming to you and say, hey, sister, what's up? And let me, can I get your number? You take my number. And then we started talking. That one is dangerous too because uh, you don't know the guy. The guy doesn't know the girl. It becomes something that we call a risk. And it takes some time before you get to know uh, each other very well because, you know, you don't know them. And all that story is very, very risky at the same time. And the last one I want to talk about is introduction. That is, probably your dad is introducing you to a man or a woman, or your pastor is introducing you, or your best friend is introducing you. It becomes a little easy because uh, they already know them. Only to look That is, that whenever something happens, you know where to go. You know who to talk to. That uh, I'm seeing this reaction. What What's going on in his life? And you know him very well. They might have known him for some time before they can introduce him to you and all those stuff. So it makes it a little easy on your side to get to know who you are actually going out with. So for the single women out there, for the single brothers out there, uh, finding is actually very, very important. Finding the right person is very, very important. And the two will of God is the permissive will of God and then the perfect will of God. So many of us are actually working under the permissive will of God because we are telling God, this is what I want, not what you want. God is telling you, this is what I want, but you're telling God, no, I want my own will uh, to be done. So God will permit it to happen. And then whatever it is that you find in that relationship has nothing to do with God. You cannot go back to him. The only thing he will do for you is give you the grace to be able to bear the pain uh, that you're seeing in your relationship. And the second one is the perfect will of God. That is the mind of God for you, the original mind of God for your life. And, 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 and that's his will. So if anything goes wrong in that kind of relationship, God will find a way to always mend it. You'll find a way to always put peace in that particular relationship. And, and, and it's something very, very important that we need to actually look into uh, by the grace of the Lord God Almighty. So don't forget, the first one is how to find. You can be introduced, you can seduce the person, you can find the person. You know, and then the second lesson is the two wills of God, the permissive will and the perfect will. I want you to just always long to be in the perfect will of the Lord so that he can take care of you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Please make sure you click the button subscribe and it's going to be well so you can get updates of my new videos as they come out. Thank you very much for your love and I really appreciate you. Thank you. God bless you.